Sorry, I should have planned. You guys better hustle. <laughs> guys, what if he comes back the other way? Yeah, he has to come through that good. door. Get in, get in for me. I need to go to the hospital, but that's okay. I can't really process this right now, that's but I'm really, really happy. Does anybody want to keep me? Uh oh! She's <laughs> just calling <laughs> You've been flying for like a hundred hours. No, they, we're out of here. Where are you guys? You guys got married. Who else? Is anybody pregnant? All my friends are married or pregnant now. But don't spill it, and we'll cross it. So today is National Donut Day. I woke up Danielle with some donuts. Maybe. See video right now. Happy National Donut Day. You made donuts. Are you taking a video? <sighs> <laughs> and we got sugar all over our comforter. Oh, I'm not that tall. What are we doing? We're gonna go on a walk. Let's go on a walk. Okay. We are going on a walk, going on a walk today, oh, yeah, we are going on a walk. If you look down the street, you'd probably see us. Can't remember who got us this for our wedding, but thank you so much. Fits perfectly in a cup holder. Hi, Bailey. Hi. Oh, it's so Isn't this awesome? cool. <laughs> so if you know anything about Danielle and I, you know that we're huge craft coffee, third wave coffee lovers. We spend a lot of time at coffee shops. We're self-employed, etc. We budget $100 a month just for coffee. If you're a craft coffee lover, you should check how much you spend per month on coffee. It's probably upwards of $150. It's just an expensive hobby. It's crazy that we spend that much per month on coffee. If someone asked me if I wanted to subscribe to get Get coffee delivered to me every month for $1,500 a year or more. I would totally turn them down, but yet we spend an absurd amount of money on stuff like that that we love. I just got this beautiful packaging in the mail. You know what? I'm just gonna make a cup right now. You wanna watch? I used to work at a coffee shop here in Lawrence that specialized in pour overs. Let's just consider this a tutorial on how to make the most amazing pour over you've ever had. Fill up your kettle with water. I recommend using a gooseneck kettle. There's nothing like them. First things first, if you really care what your coffee tastes like, you need to go to your nearest craft coffee shop and spend 15 or 20 bucks on 12 ounces of coffee like this. You always wanna take a minute and wet the filter like that. Okay, everyone wonders about ratio. There's no right ratio. However, the shop that I worked at did 26 grams of coffee to 400 grams of water. Every coffee is different. Just dial it in how you like it. 26 grams of coffee, 210 degree water, which was formerly boiling, and pour a little bit on top. This is called the bloom. I don't really think anyone fully knows the purpose of the bloom. It just like releases something from the coffee and it's helpful for your cup. I don't really know. Some people pour out the bloom, like this first initial bitter, really strong coffee at the bottom, and some people don't. It doesn't really matter. As you pour, the trick is to pretty much pour as slow as possible. You really need a gooseneck to do this right, a gooseneck kettle. also serve right into your mug using a V60. Mug down right there, V60 on top, filter inside of this. Don't forget to warm up your mug or else you'll shock the coffee. Best pour over of your life right there. We're going to the new Swedish restaurant with the Hepworks. And then? To a wedding! Oh. Haley Hepler printed this sick photo for her husband's birthday. It's so cool. Okay, we have two updates. In case you just want to stop watching the video right now, I'll tell you the two updates. The first is we bought a house. 
And the second is we're going to Europe unexpectedly. We bought a house on 4th and Michigan here in Lawrence. It's we're a perfect fixer-upper. We're really excited about it. For all you who are wondering this, it doesn't necessarily mean we're here to stay in Lawrence for the next 10, 20 years. We're just buying a house because we're tired of dumping money down the rent sinkhole. So yeah. we decided to buy a house so that we could flip it. The purchase of this house is totally from the Lord. We, we just really believe. Partially because we just feel peace about it and also because Danielle had this dream. On April 28th, I had a very explicit dream from the Lord and I just remember in the middle of the night I sat up in bed because I knew it was from God and in my dream I saw this house like every portion of the front of a home. The dream also included at the very bottom the money sign one two five comma zero zero zero. When I woke up the next morning I immediately wrote down everything that I like saw in the dream and then I closed my eyes and I drew the best picture that I could of the home that I saw. We had been going and viewing at least 12 by this time. Some of them had small portions from the dream, but none of them were like, oh, that's the house from the dream. I think it was on May 25th, a house came up on Zillow and we went and saw this house and it was the house like from the dream, frame by frame. It looked just like the drawing I had in my journal, didn't it? Mm -hmm. Like if you look at the picture and then you look at the house, it was the exact same dream. It was 100% from the Lord because we also bought it for 125 which is crazy. Oh yeah, I was like, okay God, obviously your hand is on this, so like let's hear what else you have to say. I was like, what else will the home have? Like what features? And there was like a list of really simple things like a porch and a large tree, an island in the kitchen, and all these little features and it had all of them except for one i think the island the island the so island now i have to put kitchen. an island in video coming at you soon of our new house the other thing that has happened the past week that we're super honored and excited about is we have been invited to go overseas to three different cities in europe and north africa to shoot a promotional video for from June 19th to June 30th. Basically, we have the opportunity to like document what's been going on with the refugees and different movements that have taken place to help cater to those people's needs. The opportunity feels really rare and really special, and we're really excited. Oh my gosh, that so beautiful. You brought us drinks? Oh my god! I literally asked God, Jesus, today, can someone just give me a look? Like maybe at the what? hair salon show. No. I swear, I said, no, God, please, will you just say, hold on, I'm gonna put this in my ah. options. Do you have anything to say to the Phil Green vlog? Oh, hi. <laughs> Cheers. Yay. Thank you, God. Oh, my God.